uh, telling the truth about Scott Ritter. Um, Seymour Hersh told the truth, and he earned my respect in doing that. <coughs> He's a guy who literally runs down all of his sources. He facts checks it. He's not perfect. None of us are. But there's a reason why he's considered to be the legendary reporter that he is, because he does a good job. <coughs> and I basically ruined my voice by getting too emotional with you guys. But um, the uh, <coughs> let me fix this. Okay, I'll just calm down a little bit. Um, when he, or Seymour Hirsch writes it, you can believe that he believes it to be correct, that his sources have been double-checked, triple-checked. Um, and, and, and I say that because people need to take this article seriously. You know, we, we have the U.S. government saying, no, don't believe it. It's not true. If you're at the stage today where you believe anything the U.S. government says about anything, you've got some big problems. Um, the fact that the U.S. government is denying this story uh, the way they have tells you that Hirsch is on to something. Um, but the ramifications of what he's reporting are, are, are stunning. The United States basically declared war on Germany. On Europe. Um, so did Norway. Norway did it so they can open up a pipeline to replace the uh, oil or the natural gas that they blew up, uh, helping America blow up. Um, this is the truth. And uh, it's not just the United States now has to wake up to the fact that we we, we, we went to war. We carried out a, an act of war against our European, our German allies. Um, Germany needs to wake up to the fact that America attacked us. I mean, this was an economic Pearl Harbor. It's a surprise attack. Um, and Seymour Hersh's article lays it out in, with facts and details that um, were otherwise were, weren't previously available that should expose to everybody what what happened. I hope I, I, I encourage everybody to uh, to read Seymour Hersh's article and, um, and and support him on Substack because, you know, he used to be, you know, the one of the premier writers for The New York Times and The New Yorker magazine stuff he wrote was just you know it was there um but then he got deplatformed because they didn't want to tell the truth the truth was inconvenient uh, the government put pressure on them and so they deplatformed him and um you know the world is a much lesser place without seymour hirsch you know going out there and hunting down the truth and the fact that seymour hirsch has decided to come back and share this truth with us via substack means we owe it to him to, to, to support him. He hasn't asked me to say this. I'm just saying it on my own. His is a voice that needs to be heard. And thank goodness we have someone like Seymour's out there doing this job.